All right, so I mentioned that to keep your stuff out from tying a Crelex, we're gonna tie something called a Rolex. It is uh, a great fly, great adaptation to a Crelex. Um, I like to fish it more when you're dead drifting. So if you're trying to dead, dead drift a Crelex, uh, you might try to dead, dead drift this. I think it has a little bit more movement and a little bit bigger of a profile. Uh, I do have the dogs with me here today. So uh, if they start barking, I'm sorry. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, this is a, definitely a guide fly. Never seen it in stores. So hopefully you enjoy. All right, as I mentioned, keep your, to keep your Crelex stuff out, this is a guide fly. I have never seen this in stores. Um, this is called the Rolex. So it's extremely similar to a Crelex. Just a few extra steps, a few different pieces. Um, I love this fly. I think it's great. It might be my only opinion, but fish love it too. Um, so you're going to take some wire, you're going to cut about two inches or so of wire um, and put that on top of your thread base. So wrap the thread forward, wrap your wire opposite direction. It helps that this is somewhat tight, it doesn't have to be tight, but tell you up to your discretion. Alrighty, so got some lead wire. That's just gonna help it sink a little bit. You're gonna wrap some thread to secure that wire in place. This doesn't have to be pretty. It's gonna get covered up. All right, so we're gonna do the same pattern as golden white. So I'm gonna grab the Crelex flash you grab a couple more strands as last time. So maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 15 or 20, I would say. It's about like that. Maybe a little less than that. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so you're gonna grab that. Same size pattern, so size of your hook. Go one step back. You can always cut this down on the river if you're seeing like smaller bait fish or if trout or bass or whatever are rejecting your fly. It might just be a little bit long, but it's not that big of a deal. All right, so you have that tied in. Now you're gonna bring your thread forward just like with the Crelex. Tighten this in. So you're bringing this back. Make it nice and tight. So here's the difference, or one of the main differences. You're gonna take some chenille. I'm just using a white woolly bugger chenille. Um, you could use polar chenille, you could use pretty much anything. I just like the white, it blends in nice. Um, what this does is it is allows it to have a little bit of a thicker profile, um, which I find fish like. 
Uh, and then also you don't have to have a dumbbell eye, so it's not going to dive nose first. It's going to dive pretty much horizontally. Um, I, I find a ton of fish love this fly. Uh, it dead drifts maybe a little bit better than a Crelex. Um, like I said, I I like it. Fish like it. It's not super hard to tie. All right, so you're just gonna bring this up. This doesn't have to look super pretty. It's gonna be underneath. So I'm getting closer to the eye of the hook here. You're just going to secure that and cut her off. All right. Cut this little straggler here and the straggler here. All right. So now you bring this up. And then, so this is called reverse tying. That's when you tie things in forward and then move it back. You do this a lot with bucktail. So I'm just gonna reverse tie this in. And you want it laying on the bottom. So see how it's laying on the bottom of my fly when I turn it over? Okay, and cut it the same distance, so where that bend of the hook is. All right. So now you're going to add a little bit more flash up to the head. So you're going to grab probably another 10 strands or so. And cut that off. Again, guys, less is more. Measure this out. Just to make sure it's long enough. Okay, so just because I'm using a longer shank hook, I just want to make sure it's long enough. So you're just going to cut this in halfway, traditional tie, flip it around, reverse tie this back, and then wiggle this around the bend of the hook to where it's halfway down on either side. So see it's halfway down that hook, shank, and then Secure that back. Cool. And again, cut this all so it's at the bend of the hook. Nice. All right, so now you're going to flip your fly over. And we're going to tie in the gold. So you're going to grab about 25 strands of the gold, it's about like that, okay, I'm going to cut that, We're almost done, and you can cut this one in half because this one's a little bit longer than the silver. Okay, and then tie that in halfway. Sorry for my dogs in the background. I probably see a, a deer or something. It's the end of the world. <laughs> All right, and that's it. So same thing with the Crelex. Make sure you cut this to the bend of the hook. This is gonna have a little bit larger of a profile than the Crelex. Um, I like dead drifting this one versus the Crelex, but super simple to tie. Um, maybe last uh, or a little bit harder than the Crelex just to get the right amount of material, but the fish is really good. So good luck, stay smooth. All right, so I mentioned that this is an adaptation to Crelex 
Um, I don't fish this all the time. I think I fish a Crelex slightly more than this, uh, just due to getting the fly down there to the depth faster. Um, I do like the Rolex uh, if you're using this behind something. So if you're bass fishing and you want to keep this behind a popper or if you're dead, dead drifting a lot. So if you're just swinging a nymph or uh, swinging this streamer, I like the Rolex a little bit more. Um, if you look at them side by side, so hopefully you can get this picture. See how the Crelex is a little bit more streamlined than the Rolex, the so Rolex Crelex. This is gonna have slightly bigger of a body. So if you're, when you twitch it, it's gonna go down and then it's gonna breathe and go back up. This one, you twitch it, it's gonna stay pretty slender, okay? So, if you're dead drifting, it's gonna stay as a wider profile as it's drifting down in the Crelax, okay? So, that's just giving you a, a couple options of when, you, when and when you would not wanna fish this. Um, I fish them both pretty much interchangeably. Um, you can also tie it, as I mentioned, in different colors. So here's the copper like I mentioned in the Crelex video. So you can go gold and then tie in copper on the bottom. That's a great color, definitely when it's darker water or it's darker outside where you don't have um, like a sunny background, you have more of like a cloudy background in the sky. So a couple options for you all. Um, let me know how, you go, how things go. Uh, feel free to tag us any photos if you use either one of these flies. Um,